course and pack where we unlock the different degree programs that different Philippine universities offer. I am your host, Max Gonson, and today we have a good friend of mine, Shaira, and <laughs> mag-uusap na naman kami about our degree program. So Shaira has been here many times. Actually, she has been in two videos, tapos yung mga vlogs ko ng senior high. So yung two videos na tinatukoy ko, it's about UP Diliman's business courses and UP's business organization culture. So welcome, Shai, and sana masaya ka na nandito ka na sa channel ko. How are you? I'm your favorite guest. <laughs> I feel nice. I feel good. Because feeling ko ako yung favorite guest mo. As in po, ulit-ulit na ako nandito. Pati yung mga school project natin nung senior high, nasa channel mo pa rin, even though you have like almost 2K subscribers. So, wag niyo na panoorin yan, please. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so to start, let's start with our introductions. So, tell us your name, your preferred pronouns, other information that you want to share, and what's your degree program, and from what university. Okay. Uh, my name is Shaira, or as Max calls me, Shai. Um, my preferred pronoun is her, she, and my degree program is um, BS Economics, and I'm from the University of the, of the Philippines, Dinama. Wait, ano ang degree program mo? Economics. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. <laughs> Kala ko sabi mo business economics. Did you economics. forget? Did no, you no, forget? no. No, I thought I misheard lang. Okay, okay. okay. I was like... So, she is from BS Econ. So, BS Econ is very different. Hindi <laughs> naman very, pero it's different from business econ. So, someday baka may ma-invite ako from business econ. So, probably si Rafi yun. Pero for today, we'll be talking about BS Econ. So, my first question for you is to describe your degree program in two to three sentences. Uh, my degree program, Bachelor in Science of Economics, um, it's all about, I know you people usually think, this is going, Max, this is going to be more than two to three sentences. It's okay, but, it's okay. Yeah, I know you usually, like before, what I thought, uh, demand and supply, and then poor graphs and no math. But um, economics is all about decision-making. And it's bigger than what I used to think it was. And so, yes, it's all about the economy, how it runs, demand and supply. That's all correct. But at the same time, it helps individuals decide um, what will benefit them, what will maximize, mm-hmm. let's say, how, satis- um, how satisfied they are or um, for business, how profitable and um, basically profit maximization for the businesses and of course um, for individuals, um, maximizing our utility or how happy with our with us with how happy we are with a particular decision that we make. Yeah. Okay, so what do you do in Econ and describe a typical day as an Econ student? Oh, this is hard. Okay, I was just studying earlier for an exam, pero. Typically, in a day of econ students, um, I guess me and my friends usually, right now, we have a lot of study groups because it's really hard. I think from other courses, we have a lot of problem sets. So that's for all the subjects that we have um, in econ. So that's around two to three every semester. And a day in our life, we always have our calculator. Um, we always have our lecture videos because given everything is online, we just always rewatch the lecture videos and it's kind of harder to learn. We have our Varian books. I know a lot of econ students use that. And yun, um, I think the typical day in the life would be seeing the news also and like um, figuring out how it applies to the economy. And then you just realize all of a sudden, hala, but ko yun naiisip? But yeah, uh, it's kind of hectic, but at the same time, um, it's fun when you get to apply it. Mm. Okay, speaking of study groups, most likely yung mga kasama mo sa study groups are also your org mates. So does yeah. your degree program have, an, have a home organization and how does it help you as an economic student? Yeah, we do have an, um, a home organization and I'm also part of it. It's the UP Economic Society. 
Hello, Ecosoft, if you're watching this. I'm sure people from Ecosoft watch your blogs also. And um, it's super helpful. It's different when you're in a study group with the people who get you, especially if they're your classmates, they know your professors. And what I really like also is Ecosoft has a lot of initiatives, and I'm sure um, other organizations um, in the School of Economics have these kinds of initiatives also. But it's more of really giving us resources that we need. So they even give us like Google Drives um, with all the books, even notes in the past. Tapos, we have like our own profs to pick. So that's really nice. Um, it helps us a lot kapag um, enlistment season na, sino yung prof na kukunin and what the experience is like. Um, all in all, they're a really good support group because um, what I expected in UP and especially in such a competitive course also is that, you know, may nagpapataasan or they want the they're always on top or they're the mm. highest. But I never felt that even, not even once in econ. And it's really because of the kind of people I'm with. So yeah, everyone is so supportive. I'm so happy. Okay. That's nice to hear. So UP School of Economics offers two undergraduate programs, tama ba? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so how is economics different from business economics? And what do you think is the edge of econ students from other yes. similar courses? Siguro BAA or BA, pati business econ na rin. Um, I think Raph also answered this in, our, in the other vlog. So link that watch it the joke la. <laughs> um what's really different between economics and business economics the, there's a slight difference when it comes to the electives so the main difference is that us in economics we get to freely decide um a particular number of electives i think if i'm not mistaken mga 30 units so we get to decide you know what classes what electives we want to take with that particular limitation, na 30 units. Meanwhile, business econ students, um, it's already a given that the electives they'll be taking are business electives. And so for me, our edge, or actually something that I really like about um, econ is that it's more flexible, which is something that I really want, especially in a course that... Um, is, can be scientific and at the same time as a social science. Mm. So I want that kind of freedom kumbaga, when it comes to the others you want to take, the other electives you want to take. So for example, I'm also interested in journalism or in public administration. And so I can always just use those units to improve myself in those fields if ever yun yung path na I want to take in the future. But it's also, there's also an edge. It's really a matter of what you're using your degree for in the future. Because if you want to go into business or let's say you want to take up law, I think it's really helpful if business economics then yung kukunin. Because they, if I'm not mistaken, they tackle taxation, a little bit of taxation. And um, even, actually I hear they have some sort of debate also. So I think that's a good draining for, let's say, corporate lawyers in the future. Mm. And okay. yeah. Okay, so you've talked about Econ being scientific and being a social science. So I think ito yung ano, unique sa UP. So, mm -hmm. sa tingin mo, ano yung edge ng UP when it comes to economics? Is it more scientific? Is it more social science? Or is it a perfect middle or something like that? And, and how does it compare to other universities? I like this question. Although it is difficult. But um, as compared to others, so of course, I, um, I also have friends with the same course from other universities. But I think in general, UP naman talaga, if it's a Bachelor of Science, it's always very scientific. But it's always up to the professors to give us a perspective of 
how we apply it to society. And so, for example, for me, my experience with my professors in the School of Economics, um, before tackling the, the topic, naman, um, they give, you know, we talk about the news and then they say, like, what are your insights about this? Or what are the implications na dahil ganito yung nangyari? Or they give us, you know, their own experience with economic conferences and which are so cool to me. Um, I think definitely more scientific. I think it's going to be different than if the setup was face to face. But given that everything has like lecture videos and books, um, it definitely is gearing towards scientific. But I really appreciate when you know our organizations or some of our professors try to make it more social of a social science too. Mm, I see, I see. Okay, so Shay, alam kong marami kang ganap sa buhay, and I know that you intern yata or you work. So, how do you apply your degree program in your day-to-day life and in your passion projects? Oh, that's cool. Um, so far, I really get to apply what I learn in econ. I think it gives me a better understanding of society also. Um, after all, everything will be a combination of what you used to believe in, which mm-hmm. I really apply in my passion projects. And you know, what I learned in school, what I learned in UP. So given my course, I'm able to apply it in my work in organizations. So I'm really able to tackle um, positions that have something to do with finance and usually finance and operations. And even in um, one of my passion projects, our social enterprise with France and Gal, you Thrive Philippines, it gave me that edge because, um, you know, they teach you certain things about business and about society, and you're able to find a nice middle ground for that. Na not everything is, um, how do I say, profit-driven, or not everything is about you. <laughs> so it's really, it really allows you to see beyond yourself. But at the same time, um, stay on track with work. I was also able to intern before for Food Panda. And um, I was in the community and communications team. So it's a lot about society and still service talaga. But at the same time, syempre may edge ka na, you know how to, for example, you know how to do your Excel spreadsheets and you know how to balance finances and all that. So it really helps you out. Okay, so what common misconceptions do people have about your degree program? Mm, I think the number one misconception that usually, even my friends now, you know, they still, they don't know how they missed it, but they did. Um, it's that econ has like limited to no math because mm. it really does have a lot of math. And the... Uh, yeah, I, I heard from like my batchmates, parang, akala ko puro graphs lang to, or puro supply, demand, saan mapupunta yung pera, bakit ganun yung economy. But it really does have a lot of math. But I think mm. what's nice about it is you apply it. So before, I'm not the best in math, really. Like before, like in class, I tell Max to teach me math because I my brain refuses to, to understand. But Yon, parang wala talaga akong tsaga in math. But with econ naman, you get to see why why the answer is like that. Like, there's always an implication whenever you see a figure, which for me is nice because I'm able to visualize it. And for me, hindi na lang siya palaging numbers. There's always something more than that number, which for me is really nice. Okay. So ngayon, we'll be talking about how you chose your courses. How did you choose this degree program and what are other options, mo, I guess, in UP and in other mm-hmm. universities? Okay. I already told the story on your channel, but I didn't know there was business economics mm-hmm. in, in UP. And so I immediately went to Econ because I enjoyed it in junior high, even though it was actually completely different. Yun parang concepts lang. But yeah, how I got into Econ, 
um, in senior high, I also enjoyed it. Um, I was gearing really towards, you know, the corporate courses, business courses. And so my courses in, okay, do I just say my courses? Um, I was looking go forward lang, to lang. being like in applied corporate management in DLSU where nagpa-transfer ako because before I thought I wanted accountancy. <laughs> but then, same. yeah. <laughs> same. Everyone's just like, but really, account accounting students, I just I can't. And then, um, for, yun din yung course ko in USD accountancy. And then, legal management in Ateneo. And then, in UP, I applied for econ, journalism, um, What was the other one? Oh, business ad and accountancy. So this, those are the courses I, I applied to. And I settled talaga for econ. Um, initially, I was thinking if um, dapat ba akong mag-shift to BA. But as I got to know more about the course, it for me, it's a middle ground of using my strengths and also a little bit of challenge. Because me as a person, If there's no challenge, I'm not gonna try. <laughs> so yeah, so there's that sort of motivation, and I also saw na it's applicable to the society, and that's really what I'm passionate about. I feel like ever since. So, but at the same time, I also want to see a view of the corporate world, and econ gives me that flexibility that I want, especially because I'm still not settled. So gusto ko ngawen in the future. I think given the pandemic, everyone has, you know, felt an identity career crisis. So, yeah. Um, for me, what really is the edge or why I said, no, okay, I'm sure na I'll go into economics. It's because whether I go into banking and investment or let's say public administration or governance or I want to be a trader or I want to go into business, I want to be a lawyer, or even a diplomat. Um, economics is really a good course for you to take, especially in those fields. So it's very flexible, and it teaches you about a lot of things, scientific or not. So, yeah. So, ang ultimate, ano talaga ng econ for you, ultimate charm is its flexibility and versatility. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So regarding that, if you were to restart college, Would you still take econ or not? I think the first question should be, will I go to UP? The joke. <laughs> um, I think yes. Yeah, I have no regrets in taking the course naman, really. Um, it is challenging, I have to say. Or maybe that's just me. But there are a lot of us who are challenged. But at the end of the day, I think it's worth it. Um. Especially because economics is like a combination of many fields also. So if you take this course and you want to specialize in something in the future, I think it's going to give you an edge and mas mapapadali yung process because along the way in the course, you can just um, be settled with one field. For example, I want to go into business. So you can already start making choices to... Um, to further improve yourself in that particular field. And then, ayun. So it really gives you an edge knowing a lot about all these things, seeing the bigger picture also, for you to be able to specialize in your career. Okay. That's actually very inspiring and very, um, let's say, maraming information. Ang dami mong insights about economics. So this is my last question for you. What's your advice to young people who want to pursue BS Economics in UP Diliman? And where can they find out more about your degree program? So this can be your college's <laughs> website and your organization's website kung meron mang mga information na makukuha doon. Um, I think my main message would be if they're not sure about what to take yet in college, it's perfectly okay because you know, you'll end up where you're supposed to be, no matter what. Hmm. And you're going to feel it no man when you're already there. Like, for us, it also wasn't a smooth path to say na, this is what I want, I will get what I want. It, it really wasn't that 
um, smooth and quick ride. But yeah, if you want to get into economics, whether you're good in math or not, it's okay. Um, it really doesn't matter. For me, um, it's all about using your strengths. And definitely, if you take this degree program, you'll find that you can use it to your advantage, um, even during college or in the future. And I want to be more specific with this because um, a lot of people always think nah, you know, I'm not good at math and so I shouldn't go into a business course. And well, that's not true. Um, they will t- teach you in the way, along the way, um, the mathematical concepts that you have to know. And definitely it will help because you can see how math um, is applicable to the real world. And uh, you're really going to learn a lot and going to have fresher, bigger insights and perspectives about what goes on in society and actually even about the government. So, yeah. Go, Econ! So, so ano yung mga resources na pwede nilang mapuntahan? <laughs> um, for the resources, we have some in UP Economic Society, but even our website actually is very helpful. If I'm not mistaken... Um, that's UPD, Econ- a school of economics there. So it's super comprehensive. You'll find about the dif- you'll find out about the difference of econ and business econ, and even the units are all there. Okay, so thank you so much, Shai, for for guesting again. Kahit alam kong umay na umay ka sa channel ko, and so for this part, um, you can plug your social media accounts if you want. And if may mga passion projects ka, you can also plug it. So go ahead. Yeah, I want to plug my passion project. I am shy to plug my, my personal account. But yeah, um, just also recently, last year during the pandemic, I started the passion project with two of my closest friends also. Um, it's called You Thrive Philippines. So you can follow us on Instagram and Facebook. On Instagram, it's at youthrive.ph. And on Facebook, you can just search You Thrive Philippines. So yeah, we're... Uh, do I, I'll, share, I'll, share, I'll share just a little bit about gonna, us. Gonna. But yeah, we're a social enterprise, but we provide training to Filipino, young Filipinos so we usually um, give talks, seminars, and workshops um, all about a huge um, range of topics. So may it be finances and mental health or um, self-confidence and self-esteem. Yeah, that's what we try to do. So yeah, thank you guys. Thanks, Max, for having me. So I'm, I'm going to put it sa description box lang din para they can access thank it. Thank you. Okay, so that's a very inspiring talk, Shai. And thank you so much sa pag even though pang ilang mes na kitang nahihila dito. And yep, that's it for today's episode of Course Unpack. I hope that you guys learned a lot about business economics in UP Diliman. And if you want to find out more about different courses from different universities, subscribe to my channel. And kung may mga gusto kayong makitang other degree programs na hindi pa namin tatakel, comment it down below so we can we can find someone who can talk about their degree program and share their experiences as a student of that degree program. So that's it for Course and Pack. Thank you so much for watching and see you next episode. Bye-bye. Bye.